Now to Villa Park where Stan Collymore was given yet another chance to salvage his reputation and Aston Villa's fading hopes of success. The visitors Chelsea had the chance to regain third place with a win and Villa equally need a victory after collecting just one point from the previous 21. There was a first game in front of his home crowd in almost six months for Mark Bosnich who missed most of the season with a shoulder injury. Steve Watson returned after injury, giving Steve Stone a home debut in his accustomed midfield role. Dion Dublin back from suspension, Paul Merson and Julian Jochim on the bench. Dennis Wise was only one of five Chelsea players who appeared in the Cup Winners' Cup success in midweek. Chelsea welcomed back Frank LeBerf after suspension. Marcel Desailly had recovered from a hamstring strain and Gianfranco Zola returned after being rested from the trip to Norway. Viali claimed Chelsea were also rans after last weekend's league defeat by West Ham, but a win could put them back in it. Your commentator, Paul Dempsey. Well picked out by Leboeuf brilliantly. It fell to Zola. Well seen by Bosnich. Got two hands to it. First strike of the afternoon, of the morning I should say. Comes from the brilliant little Italian. won it above Zola in the air but it fell for goal then. Flo wanted it early and he's got it. This is Tori Andre Flo for Chelsea. Brilliant work from Bosnic. Welcome back to Villa's colours for him. Well in the final analysis despite Tori Andre Flo's qualities as a front man there are those that would say that that will sum up Chelsea's season. The difference, the cutting edge. That's how he picked out Morris well. Lovely, balanced football from Jody Morris. This is Zola, the master craftsman. And his strike. Well turned aside by Bosnic. Excellent save. Going away to his left from Zola. Chelsea come close again. They just appear to have that little extra half yard. Watson's ball in for Villa. It's Dublin. Conor Moore coming to help. Couldn't get his shot off. Right. Alan Thompson on his better left foot. Lovely ball from Thompson. Aston Villa's best moment of the afternoon. Dio Dublin denied. But at last, Aston Villa get into a good crossing position and produce a telling ball to put Chelsea under pressure. And the one man they would wish for underneath it is Dion Dublin. Excellent header. Well seen by De Hoy. by Ferrer. This is Torre Andre Flo. He did it a long time, but how well he did it! It's two and two after a long famine for Torre Andre Flo, and Chelsea deservedly in front of Villa Park. Aston Villa got caught out, defending perhaps a little too high up the field here. Flow in behind the last defender, Shimika and Southgate couldn't close him off. And a marvellous piece of finishing. That will take him into double figures. And at last Chelsea penetrate in the penalty area. On the balance of play they deserve it, no question. knows that he's got lucky here and he's seen enough games of football to know that maybe such a let off could yet become a turning point in the battle that's how he left his keeper short and Julian Georgian's first touch was almost to level it well Mar Marcel Desailly is human after all seen again by Bosnich. Chelsea finishing stronger here and Mark Bosnich has kept this respectable second half. That time Zola really got hold of it. Golbeck, he can also hit from distance. 
couldn't trick his way past Merson. Longboard won it back again for Chelsea. This is Flo. And this is Goldbeck. Game, set, match, Chelsea. What a contribution this fellow is making. Diana Goldbeck's fourth goal. Just one more of the little bonuses for Chelsea. Villa had the chance to clear their lines and didn't take it. Flo had presence of mind to wait for Goldbeck to arrive. And another outstanding finish from the Dane. Who needs Brian Laudrup? Well, he rode his own team out of the title picture last weekend. Goldbeck for the visitors. Flow on the end of this. This could make it look very, very convincing. And so it does. Aston Villa run ragged. Tory Andre Flow on target for the second time. And Chelsea stroll to victory here. A bedraggled Villa. Easily taken apart again. He got in between goalkeeper and keeper and this time the run of the ball favoured him. But he had the balance here and the pace for a big man to get on the end of it. A very satisfactory ending to the week for Gianluca Vialli. clean sheet and an excellent day's work draws to a close for Chelsea here their third win of the season over Aston Villa in League and Cup they certainly have their number and Chelsea in all have come here today to give a professional demonstration of what it really takes to be a top side if we play at our best we can we are capable of winning all the games uh, this is what we are going to try to do until the end of the season but uh, I mean, the only thing we can do is do our best, and then if Manchester United and Arsenal keep uh, winning games, uh, it's going to be difficult to keep up with them, but uh, we try our best. Manchester United uh, are still the favourite, they have the best, the best cards for the moment, and um, Arsenal are playing very well, I saw them in television, so it's going to be very, very difficult. We haven't scored very much lately, so this was good for us, and um, now we have to uh, build it uh, from here, because... Um, this was much better than we have done before.